What does this mean for those covered under the Affordable Care Act? One insurance company says it doesn't mean much, at least for this year. News Channel 15's Kelly Roberts spoke with Fort Wayne-based insurance company Physicians Health Plan and continues our coverage now. Kelly? Breathe. That's PHP President and CEO Michael Cahill's advice for those who have health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. He, like the millions who are covered because of it, are waiting for answers on how Congress plans to replace the law. There are a lot of uncertainties right now about the future of the Affordable Care Act. The insurance industry hates uncertainty. But what is certain? The Republican majority in Congress is determined to repeal and replace the law. However, how it will be replaced, well, that's still uncertain. Tell me what's going to be repealed and tell me what it's going to be replaced with. President-elect Donald Trump says the law will be repealed and replaced simultaneously, and it will happen soon. A repeal could come as early as next month. But among all the uncertainty, Physicians Health Plan President and CEO Michael Cahill is certain your insurance won't be affected this year. I think number one, for 2017, if I'm in the marketplace, don't worry about 2017. Nothing that goes on this year <laughs> in Congress will affect your coverage in 2017. After that, Cahill recommends talking to an insurance broker or your insurance company for guidance. PHP left the ACA marketplace in August for different reasons, including never receiving subsidies laid out in the law. And Congress decided not to fund those subsidies. PHP, from 2014 through 2016, is owed $11 million. The uncertainty is what made PHP leave, but did the threat of repeal and replace during Donald Trump's campaign add to that uncertainty? Cahill says it wasn't a reason at all for the decision to leave the marketplace. Insurance companies have to make their decisions from May through about August 1st. I, like most people, was surprised by the election results. For statements from both of Indiana senators and their votes, visit this story on Wayne.com. In Studio 15, Kelly Roberts, News Channel 15.